everybody, welcome back to Red Sonia Reviews. Today we're going to check out this Menu 22 Beef Goulash MRE. I've not tried this one yet, and I thought, you know, it might be a good opportunity to show you guys what's in this. I was looking for a date, and I didn't really see one, so perhaps you know, it'll have a clearer marking inside. So let's, let's see what we got. Now these are supposed to be pull apart. Let's see if it is. Oh yeah, not bad. Better than I thought. We've got a bag in a bag. That's actually a pretty nice setup. Hey, right. does this have a peel? I don't see one. Okay, I'll try it the old fashioned way. This does have some printing. What does this say? 0127. So I'm going to assume that's 2020, but I'm not 100% sure. And we got here and three spoon strawberry jam. That sounds good. Ooh, that looks yummy. Chocolate hazelnut protein drink powder. That sounds delicious. And white wheat snack bread. Ah, uh, I was watching one of the guys on. Oh man, I don't even remember which one it was. He's like, oh man, we don't get enough chunky peanut butter. Well, I've got chunky peanut butter. And accessory pack. Wow. <laughs> it says it's patriotic sugar cookies, but I can tell you it feels like sugar crumbs. But that's okay. And then we've got some zapple sauce. Applesauce enhanced with maltodextrin for increased performance. 160 calories per serving. And then this is for our main beef goulash which is beef with brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. And here's our main. Beef goulash. And in the accessory packet, we've got beverage base cranberry grape. Not a big fan of cranberry, but I might try it. Sugar free directions add to 20 fluid ounces of bottled water. Okay. And then we've got what I assume is cinnamon gum. Not quite sure. Moist towelette. A little bit of TP. And some iodized salt. 
So let me get all this situated on a tray and I'll be back. All right, so let's get this in the heater. While that's doing its thing, let's see what this chocolate hazelnut protein powder is like. Okay, and then we have the beverage base cranberry grape. Let's see how that comes out. Whew, smells very grapeish. And then we've got white wheat snack bread. White wheat. some extremely mushed cookies, patriotic sugar cookies. Didn't travel too well, but that's okay. They will taste the same. It's still kind of sizzling in there. Hey, right, so let's uh, check out this grape drink. Um, grape cranberry drink. It's not too bad. I was concerned it would be way too cranberry-ish for me, but it's a very subtle taste. It's not too, 
It's not too sweet, a little sweet, but not bad. Um, more grape than anything, and it's not even a strong grape. Not bad at all. All right, let's take a look at this chocolate drink now. Sounds good. Very thick. So that's good as well. Oh, a little chunky. Didn't uh, didn't mix as well as it could. Um, that one has a more artificial taste. Um, I mean, it's it's totally drinkable. It's definitely not bad at all. But a little more artificial than the uh, than the grape drink. Nice and thick, very filling. And then let's see what these cookies are like. Some of them manage pretty good. Oh yeah, just a good straight. Vanilla cookie, very good. I think this is almost done. So I'm gonna take a minute and get that out and clean it up. I'll be right back. Let's see what this looks like. This is our beef goulash. Doesn't smell too bad. You can see the uh chunks of meat and rice. I think that's a mushroom. Not entirely sure. And even some pieces of vegetables. Actually, that's a pretty good chunk of meat right there. Take, take a test. It's very savory. Not a strong tomato taste. The rice is a little bit mushy, a little mushier than I like. The meat is cooked pretty well. Not terrible. All right, 
let's see though about some of this chunky peanut butter and strawberry jam on this white wheat bread. that have pride of place for a minute. And this chunky peanut butter. Maybe another cookie. Some peanut butter. Yeah, and then we've got the strawberry jam. Jam, it's a little thick, it's more of a jelly. Hey, right. let's see what it tastes like. Looks pretty good. It's good peanut butter. It tastes like old-fashioned style peanut butter. And the strawberry jam is good. It doesn't taste artificial in any way. It tastes, it tastes very real. The bread, on the other hand, well, you know, it's all stable bread. It's not, it's not terrific. It does have uh, reasonable texture, though. But the peanut butter is really good. I will say that the uh, the goulash is not my favorite. I do like the cookies and the drinks. And I could eat this all day, the peanut butter sandwich. Even with the questionable bread. Still a couple jumps ahead of that uh, goulash. And the cookies are great even if they're mushed. Alright, let's check out this moist towelette. Latex free. Didn't really think any of them had latex in them, but. It's 
It's a good size one compared to usual. Very thin. Not bad. Very juicy. And then let's see if this is actually cinnamon. It is indeed cinnamon. Very good, actually. Thanks for joining me today. This has been our review of the Menu 22 Beef Goulash U.S. Military MRE. Overall, edible. I was not that impressed with the main. Everything else was totally acceptable. Everything was good. And it really wasn't the consistency or anything. It was just, it was a very artificial taste. It was, it didn't impress me. Uh, but everything else was totally great. And no complaints. Well, except the mush cookies, but they tasted fine. So I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. And I will catch you next time. Have a great day.